and we're back. So plan was gonna be to film a room tour today, but as I was looking at that corner, I realized I gotta do something about this. As much as I like the pegboard, I think it all looks a little too messy, especially the stuff on the ground. My original plan was to put one of those Husky toolboxes here, but uh, that's a little bit out of my budget. But I think I've come up with a plan. So if you couldn't tell, my room is extremely small. So the goal is to find something that's not super big, something that won't take up too much space, but I could put storage in. And I've also ordered this chair off Amazon. I'm a little worried that it's gonna be too big for the room. Worst comes to worst, the backup plan, I think is gonna be keep the chair and figure out another solution for storage. But I'm sure we'll find something that'll work because we are going to the Mecca of setup building, the one and only Ikea. So, although I didn't get anything from the as-is section, I did find what I think is gonna be the perfect fit for the room. But first, I gotta get all these boxes inside because although it's beautiful out here, it was raining at Ikea and Amazon left all my boxes on the uncovered porch. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. So the plan is for this shelf to go here with the pegboards on top of it, chair in the corner, plant stand in between, and I'm starting to think I underestimated how small this room is. I don't know if it's all gonna fit, but I guess we'll find out. So everything's in its new home and it's pretty tight in here. And I'm starting to think I underestimated how small this room is. Yeah, I wasn't wrong about that. The chair definitely ended up being a little bit bigger than I expected. I know the measurements are on Amazon and you can measure all you want, but until the thing's actually in your room, you really have no idea how it's gonna fit. The brand itself is called Zinus. And I have to say the instructions were really simple. Putting it together was really easy. Every part was labeled. And they even gave you this ratcheting Allen key, which is really nice because we all know how frustrating it can be to use those little tiny ones that usually come in the boxes. Anyway, it's pretty comfortable, so I think I'm gonna keep it. But this shelf unit over here is where I may have made a mistake. I'm curious on your guys' opinions on how I should organize some stuff in this room as well. So I'm gonna take some pictures, throw some Instagram stories up with a poll and get some of your guys' opinions. If I had to pick one tech purchase this past year that I don't regret buying, it's definitely this iPad Air 5. It's the perfect little machine for browsing the web, watching YouTube videos, and even editing videos on the fly. I haven't touched Lightroom on my computer since I bought this. It's so easy to just upload the photos from my camera straight into Lightroom, edit them in there, export to camera roll, and then it automatically syncs up with my phone. So I can take a look at them on my phone and then upload straight to Instagram. So the results are in and you guys voted to keep the ladder. So that's what I'm doing. And I guess that means I'm all done with this little renovation. So here's one last quick rundown of what everything is and how much it costs. The chair was $100 from Amazon from the company called Zinus. It is $142 right now. So if you really like it that much, I would try and find it somewhere else. It's kind of expensive for a chair, I think. The ladder itself that we just talked about is from Home Goods. I would like to do some sort of light over there other than the Edison light, which is also from Home Goods. So uh, let me know if you guys think I should do like a hanging light or like one of those lights that comes up and goes over the chair. The shelf unit is called the Falbo from Ikea. They do sell a half size version, which I'm kind of thinking I maybe should have went with to save some space, but I do need the storage space as well. And above the shelf unit is the white Ikea pegboards that I spray painted black. I think they sell them in black now, but if they don't and you have to buy the white, they do spray paint black really easily. They have like a rough material on them, so the paint sticks really well. And then on the pegboard itself, I've just got some extra keycaps, some camera gear that I want to be able to quickly access, and obviously the iPad. One thing I do get a lot of questions about is this charging station that I have hanging underneath. This is called the iSwift Power Cloud. They sent this out to me about a year and a half ago now and I've been using it ever since it's pretty nice it looks like it's currently $50 which isn't a bad price for something like this I really
really just like the way it looks. It has three plugs on the top, two USB-C in the middle, and then a USB-A. On the desk itself, the speaker you see is the Creative Labs Stage Air V2. I'm not a huge soundbar guy, but it is nice to have this here to just be able to plug my phone in and listen to some music every once in a while. And then inside the shelving unit itself, I've just got like a whole bunch of boxes from old tech, computer parts, things like that. Which brings me to my next question for you guys, where I'd love your feedback in the comments. I'm looking to upgrade my computer soon. I'm currently running a Ryzen 7 3700X for the CPU and in Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. Not bad for 1440p gaming, but when it comes to editing on Resolve, when I start putting a bunch of fusion effects on there and noise reduction and things like that, it really slows my system down. So my plan is to go with an Intel CPU because that iGPU that they have in the K series is really helpful when it comes to speeding up the editing process and editing programs. I'm looking at the 13700K and for GPU, I'm thinking the 4070. I built this three years ago now, so I'm a little bit out of the game when it comes to hardware. If you have any recommendations on how that build sounds, let me know. I'm even open to switching to Mac if you guys think that's a better option. But otherwise, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.